Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm Riz, and I'm Billy. And we're here to give you some Fallout facts. Well, Riz says I'm here to shoot things and. Well, I, I, I totally missed the chance to say I'm here to kick ass and shoot bubblegum. I'm all out of bubblegum. We didn't have any to be going. Um. Yeah, Hold just... on a second. Yeah. Holding on for what? I do not have. What? I do not have any bubblegum. Alright, carry on. <laughs> Wait, uh, gun drops. Guess that's close enough. And there we go. I'm all out of bubble gum. You just gave yourself radiation. I did. Uh, <laughs> <carry> on. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is all pre Fallout 4 since this edition of the Guinness World Records Gamers Edition 2016 did come out in 2015, but like middle of the year. I don't know why things like that do that. Impressive floating ash. Uh, anyway, oh, where's that last guy? Uh, oh, there's a lot of them. I'm like, yeah, here we go. The super mutants of Fallout were created by the Master, whose name Richard Morrow is inspired by the scientist in H.G. Wells' The Island of Doctor Morrow. Interesting. Uh, there have been four Fallout appearances by Harold, a human whose forced evolutionary virus mutates him into a living tree with a oh, face. Oh, he's uh, uh, um, been. Two, three, New Vegas. What's the last one? Dunno, just says he's had uh, the most appearances in all the games. I'm, I'm guessing it was probably in Fallout 1 then. Hmm. Um, the rarest RPG for a 7th gen console uh, goes to the limited edition Fallout 3 Survival Edition. That's it. Uh, it was exclusive to Amazon, offered a host of goodies including a DVD, art booklet, a Pit Boy 3000 replica, a Vault Boy bubblehead, and a Vault Tech lunchbox. By 2014, sealed versions were fetching more than $700, about £400. Pounds. Impressive. Uh, the most crowdfunded Fallout project was the second series, second season of the popular Fallout Nuka Break web series, which raised um, $130,746, or £83,719, by the 17th of June 2012, via Kickstarter. Yeah, and that is a completely fan-made series, so it's really well done, and if you haven't seen it, I recommend going and check it out. Uh, the most popular fan-made Fallout film, which is the Wayside Creations Nuka Break, which follows the ex-Vault Dweller Twig, and his companions Scarlet and Ghoul Ben, as they travel the Fallout Wastelands in search of a bottle of Nuka Cola. For some reason. <clears throat> because the dude Twig was obsessed with Nuka Cola. I imagine so. I mean, who wouldn't be? Well, the film had been viewed more than 2.8 million times on YouTube as a triumph of the March How many times did that with you? Uh, I've said twice. So, two times. <laughs> right. Um, did you download mods for Fallout New Vegas? Um, no, no, actually, I have not. Well, the most downloaded mod of Fallout New Vegas, as of 20, 24th of March 2015, a total of 2.3 million users of the Nexus mod site have downloaded the Weapons Mod Expanded WMX, coded by a Joseph Lolbach, which brings further enhancements to Fallout New Vegas' weapons modding system. Fair enough. Alright, how this? You played Fallout 2? Uh-huh. Did you complete it? Uh, I believe so. It was a while ago. Did you did it take you a significant amount of time? Say maybe four or six hours. On the tenth of January, twenty fourteen, French gamer Zombie Spucci, aka Florence, steered the chosen one hero to the post-apocalyptic sequel, saving the villagers of Arrow in a blistering single segment time of fourteen minutes fifty nine point three three seconds. Jesus. How impressive is that? I don't even know what the hell you do, because you spend a lot of time just moving place to place. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Yeah, well done him. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm giving him the credits, yeah. Yeah. Uh, largest world in the Fallout game. Set in the year 2277, 200 years since the war laid waste to the Earth, Fallout 3 presents a gamescape of traversable land estimated at 15 square miles. Known as Capital Wasteland, the area comprises the ruined remnants of vaults and other settlements in Washington, D.C. I imagine that would be getting my Fallout 4, but you know. Eh, it's kind of on the edge. People are considering that 
while Fallout 3 had a bigger landscape, this is more dense, so it has more accessible areas. Yeah. So it's kind of up in the air, really. Yeah, you can get to a lot more places since yeah. you get the attack. Um, a lot of these that are held by Fallout 3 are probably broken by Fallout 4. Probably. Include, including on 28th of October the, to the 4th of November, uh, Fallout 3 sold an incredible 4.7 million copies worldwide during its first week of sale. Impressive. Indeed. Um, ah, here we go. The original Fallout. You played that? Uh -huh. Think about six hours? Probably. On the 22nd of July 2010, vault dweller Jakub Fex Surma from Poland raced across the post apocalyptic wastelands of Southern California, USA, outfought mutants, death claws, and the master himself to complete the original Fallout in an astonishing 6 minutes and 54 seconds. This How are run. these people doing this? It was completed in 5 seconds. Fuck that. Did yeah, I? I don't know. It took me about half an hour just to create my character. There's only like six options. <laughs> <laughs> These are really interesting facts. Uh, the most prolific developer of RPG sequels. Uh, when it comes to producing sequels to other ga companies' role-playing games, California-based developer Obsidian has worked on an impressive CV. As of February 2015, Obsidian had developed sequels for four RPG franchises. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, Never Winter Nights, play that, play that. New Vegas, play that. and Dungeon Siege 3. Oh, fittingly, okay. played all them. <laughs> fittingly, in 2014, Obsidian was also involved in the development of Wasteland 2, the long-awaited sequel to the seminal 1987 post-apocalyptic RPG that is widely considered to be the spiritual godfather of all that series. Yeah. So, Obsidian are pretty big. Yeah, and I've played all the games, apparently. Yeah. Well, the ones that they made sequels of. I yeah. think they made some of their own. Oh. Now, here we go. Fastest completion of Fallout 3. I, can't remember. I, I, I remember watching this. It's something like 42 minutes. No. <laughs> a French gamer known as Riedu achieved a single segment run in a super fast time of 18 minutes 53 seconds. As recorded on 25th of March 2015. So I imagine you just like skipped that on all the story, you know? Properly. With such fine margins at stake, Redo exploited several glitches. Yep. Okay. Every time you quick load, the collision detection doesn't work for about 10 frames, yep. allowing you to clip through walls and objects. Right. So he super cheated. Hey, it's still impressive. <laughs> it is. Other than that one. And how else do you think these guys completed in 6 minutes and 14 minutes? Cool. <laughs> You got another game you'd like to play with a bit of information for? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You might as well be your Minecraft one since you want to do that. Let's see, here we go. What the? Yeah, he question. just blew himself up! That was question. How cool was that, though? Yep. There's a lot. This this has a big section of Minecraft because Minecraft's become very huge. Yeah. Basically, its own world with like infinite challenges inside. Uh, there's in, there's a number of challenges that you can try yourself, like fastest time to dig through bedrock. Uh, uh, two bedrock. Right, I was gonna say that's impossible. Uh, taller staircase built in one minute. Uh, fastest time to kill ten zombie pigmen. Longest Minecraft track built and ridden in three minutes. You can, you're allowed to use creative mode for that one. Right. Uh, you have to use survival mode for the zombie pigmen, and you're allowed to use creative for tallest staircase. Okay. Uh, fastest time to craft all ten Minecraft tools. You're allowed to use creative mode in that. Does that include the house? Uh, yeah, all. Got to make them house. All the ten tools: iron pickaxe, stone shovel, fishing rod, flint and steel, the lead, the shears, the clock, the compass, the iron hoe, and the diamond axe. Do I have a sniffer like that? I probably do not have a snack of apple. Fastest time to complete the iron golem, you're allowed to use creative mode for that. Oh. Most wood collect in three minutes, you have to use survival. And here's the interesting thing, you know, you collect a lot more with an axe, but would you want to risk some of your uh, wood to create that axe? 
And waste a bit of time as well. Yeah. Fastest time to make and eat three cakes. Fastest time to build a house. Fastest time to build a two block piston door. And then those are the uh, 10 challenges. Which also indicates it's like 10 pages. Yeah. Um, and I have not done a single one of those. No, no, these are pretty interesting. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, Minecraft entered beta testing on the 20th of December 2010. Between then and its PC and Mac release on the 18th of November 2011, some 10 million gamers signed up to play. The nature of the content is hinted at by the developers with enigmatic statements such as growing an egg and the chance of spawning a chicken. Yes, that's fact. Did you know the distinctive textures and now iconic sword originated with a similar item from Marcus Persons unfinished? Pre Minecraft RPG Legend of the Chamber. <clears throat> we shall possibly give more facts next time, I don't know. There's a lot of There are a lot of facts. How many pages is that? Oh, about 10 pages on this one. Yeah, 10 pages of Minecraft facts. Best selling indie game Microsoft's 2014 acquisition of Mojang for $2.5 billion, which is £1.6 billion. Pounds. Uh, had paid, had put paid to the developers' indie credentials, but Minecraft had already sold 60 million copies. Its non-console sales alone are nearly twice the population of Sweden, home of Marcus Persson. Impressive. I like his name. Yeah. His name is literally Persson. Yeah. Except for whatever reason he's called much to everyone. I think that's his username. Yeah, probably. But anyway, yeah, so we'll give you some more facts. Hope you uh, like some of these ones. Yeah, I like some of these. These are good. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Tris. And I was Billy. Uh, yeah, forgot about that.